Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds of heavyweight action between Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. Muhammad Ali's entrance here. What a ring walk. Just brimming with confidence, ready for the task at hand. of a power puncher versus a speedy fighter if you're the power puncher what do you try to accomplish early on well you better not just be walking in because you'll be walking into a speed tunnel and you'll be getting caught on the way in you have to control that range a little bit and look to time the speed that can take speed away Targeting upstairs. Piercing jab. See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by Mike Tyson. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. He has his target. He lands a straight right. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Very nice work to the head, the right hand landed. Way to block there. Very nice work with the double jab up top. And we come to the end of round number one. Teddy, let's discuss what's going on right here. His eye is completely swollen shut. What is the concern with the referee and the ringside physician? Well, right now they're worried about the welfare. You know, not just about tonight, but the future of this fight and what damage he will take now because he can't see correctly. It's their job to protect the fighter. You're fighting his fight. You're fighting on the inside of this guy. Now I want you to use the ring and keep your distance. Listen, I need to see some counter punches, okay? Whenever he misses, you got to count. Here we go. Round two is underway. Keep going. Ali's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Now let's go. Nice strike after catching one by Muhammad Ali. Good job. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, a big shot up home for him. Oh, and he goes down. First knockdown tonight.
hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, five. There's a straight right hand. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. with the combination upstairs. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Ali blocks it. And that's the end of round two. Listen, he's a veteran guy. He knows the truth of the situation. That's a really bad cut. The kind of cut that can end the fight. Yeah, he has a gamble right now. You know, just got a last call in the casino. They just said, you know, you got three more rolls of the dice. He's got to roll him. He's got to blow on him. He's got to do everything. Keep shooting the jab to his chest. His hands will drop and follow with the power shot. I keep this guy off balance. You don't need that. Okay, keep up. Number three is underway. Ali's got to rely on his corner now to do what it takes to get him back physically and mentally. It's always a challenge when you hit the ground. Big uppercut right on the mark. Ali with a big left. Good job on the two-punch combo by Muhammad Just Ali. Like Just like that. Muhammad Ali with a huge right hand. Good double jab by Muhammad Ali. Solid left hand to the head. Muhammad Ali's right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. And now he's targeting upstairs. Good come clean on, shot on, returning on, fire. On. Well done by Muhammad Ali. It's okay. Bring it back. Mike Tyson's combination that was landed moments ago is a one of those examples of what every trainer would really like to have, and that's a fighter with good hand speed. Yeah, and he's showing that right now. Good now, job, the trainer in the other corner hopes he has a guy with good timing because timing can negate speed. Good right hand. Ali's now seeing his own blood, and it's coming from his mouth. Commits to the straight right. Ali's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Just keep working and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. Now don't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. Keep your distance, all right? need to throw more punches. The body. Bang the body. Hit that body. Work that body. Chop down the tree. Come on, champ. Now start around number four. A chance to look at Teddy's scorecard and get his insight. Good combination to the head. Shake it off. A shooting 
right hand by Muhammad Ali. Eddie, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? One, two, three, four, five. Ali beats the count, looks across the ring at his opponent, and you know that this is going to turn into a big time fight now. Mike Tyson's jammed by an uppercut. Just in a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Boy, he was hurt. And bang, and away he goes. Ali is rocked. Muhammad Ali went down after eating that power punch. opponent a knockout victory I like the way he finished things tonight, Teddy. Mike Tyson's your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. Well, I'm glad you liked it, and just as importantly, or more importantly, his trainer, his manager, and his promoter like it, because that means that he's going to be easier to sell now to television. I'm Joe Tessitore for Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us, and enjoy the rest of your night. He caught you with one there, huh? It's okay. It happens. This is boxing after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. Son, that rip ain't gonna do shit but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass, yeah? Now you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass! Knock the fucker on his 
says. Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! Nighty night, bitch. I don't want to die in prison. Yeah, easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. This Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur for nine years. Nine years! Are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right. That's why we're here. To get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid! What a challenge for Andre Bishop as round one is underway. Nobody over the course of the past nine years has been able to conquer Joel Savone. The Cuban has now been a nine-time champion of these World Amateur Games. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. That was really well done. The jab and then thundering home with the uppercut. Halfway through round number one. I like that step.